Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we will be reading to you from the book of Don Bosco. Stories of Don Bosco. Does it say for children? Here you go. Thank you, son. No, it does not. Roll gold. Broken bottles, broken window. Broken bottles, broken window. He did not always have to go looking for boys. More often than not, they came looking for him. In fact, it was said that he attracted boys the way that honey attracts flies. As the following stories of two boys will show. One of these boys had just come from the store, and in one hand he held a bottle of oil, and in the other hand a bottle of vinegar. Hello, Don Bosco, greeted the boy, delighted to be near his idol. Haven't seen you for a long time. I guess not. <coughs> Have you been a good boy? Been to confession and communion? You have? Well, I think you're such a fine young fellow, I'm, gonna have to, I'm going to include you in our next picnic. That's great! So it was uh, an accident. It was a trick. The, the boy stared speechless at, at the running vinegar and oil. Wild tears rolled up in his eyes. My mother will give it to me when I'm home, he wailed. Oh, what do I do? The most of the mad at this unexpected result of his joke, but he was rarely at a loss for a solution. Cheer up, he said. I think I can fix up everything as good as you. Oh, I thought he was trying to test the kid. Apparently not. <laughs> Well, he, he didn't realize the boy had two bottles. Oh, so. yeah. For a moment, the boy may have thought the Bosco was going to use some of his magic to make the bottle go with him. Then the Bosco brought him back to the store and told the woman what had happened and ordered a fresh supply of oil and vinegar. There you are, son, she said to the boy. Take better care of them this time. She turned to Don Bosco. And who are you? I'm Don Bosco, a friend of boys around here. How much do I owe you? That will be, she began automatically, then stopped. For you, she said, there's no charge. Something even stranger happened to another boy who was overjoyed at seeing him. This one was sweeping the floor of a cloth store at the time, and on looking through the glass door, he saw him passing by. Don Bosco, he called out, but Don Bosco, not having heard, kept on walking. Fearful that he would lose a chance to speak to Don Bosco, the boy dashed out into the street. Unfortunately, in his haste, he forgot that between him and the street stood a glass door. He smashed right through it. In a moment, the owner was out and wanted to know what had happened to this door. I saw you passing by, Don Bosco said the trembling boy, and I wanted to say hello to you so badly so I forgot to block the door. Meanwhile, the owner began to berate, berate the unhappy boy. Can't you see that it was an accident? said Don Bosco. Why be so hard on me? That's all very well, but who's going to pay for it? Since in a way that it was not my fault, I'll pay for it. Just leave the boy alone. At that moment, the owner's wife appeared. Oh, you are Don Bosco? She said. Then to her husband, why don't you just forget about it? Don Bosco is a poor man and doesn't have any money. Yes, but who's going to pay for the broken glass? The woman said nothing, but the next day called on Don Bosco and gave him the money. <laughs> she called on him and gave him the money? A generous impulse and your wonderful work for boys shouldn't suffer because of an accident, she said. But whatever you do, do not tell my husband. <laughs> It'll be like, I like you. Oh, yeah. That's, it. Go watch your hand. That's what the Bible says about one hand not knowing what the other one does when you do a good deed. Oh, that's what happens to um people um that um that go in like an experiment sort of thing. They um doctors, people, exper uh, scientists, they like split the brain in half. Uh huh. They split it like with the knife. I don't All know right. how it's done without damaging anything serious. But then, like, something happens, like, um, last so long ago, and it was super complicated. It was saying, like, um, the left brain side of the brain was controlling the right arm, mm -hmm. and it said, like, the left side was saying, was mute and couldn't talk, but could, like, say, oh, that's blue. What is this? Oh, that's, um, that's ginger ale. But it couldn't say anything. This side could say stuff, 
but couldn't tell what is what. Oh, so one side had this power of speech and yeah. vocabulary. So, like, at one point, you might be um, solving a Rubik's Cube with your left hand, and then you would, like, when you look at it, you'll be like, when did I solve this? Like, because your right brain is the one that's talking. Right? Mm -hmm. thinking. I don't know how it works. It was complicated. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Father, for this beautiful moment. Dame me, la como, pero necesito con carne y... What kind of dressing do I like? No ranch. There you go. Thank you. Ranch dressing. No tenemos. Ranch? Oh, the kind of dressing do I like? No sé, ¿sabes? Antonio? Wait. What? You said it's bad lettuce. Wait, wait. ¿Qué tal esto? We're about to have an evening meal. God bless you and those that surround you. One of the things I do like to do is eat aloe vera. During the hot summer, it's it's wonderful. This is from a leaf. And I also put it on my face. It helps, I think. Wow, got a meal. Thank you. Do we have any beans? No! But I saw you doing, I washed the, the, the licuadora and there were no beans. I want more beans. <laughs> took the beans to work. <laughs> All right. God bless Everybody you, my friends. Wanted. See you in the next video. Tostitos? Sauce? Yes. Thank you. My wife is being nice to me today. Goodbye, friends.